Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Jeff Lars, and we are back at the home base here, back at the spawn camp, and just hanging out in the lounge, you know, doing whatever. Today, as you can see from what I have in my inventory here, plenty of obsidian, we're going to build a portal to the nether and start on that little, that little project. I know there's a lot of other things I could cover about the 1.2 update, things like showing off the squid, which is a water mob. Uh, I have tried to find a squid, and I have been very unsuccessful, and I kind of just want to record. If I ever find one, which I'm sure I will at some point, I'll show it off. And there are also a couple other cool things like sandstone and dispensers. I'll get to those at a later date, because right now, I really want to get to building this portal, because, well, I've been hyping it for a while, and I've gotten a million and a half comments saying, Are you going to go to the nether? Will you go to the nether? You should go to the nether. So, I think I'm going to go to the nether. So, in our in the little arboretum, I've built a little hideaway hole here to this area which is going to be my nether portal and I bought set up a little prep station here full of goodies and treats over here extra obsidian just in case tons of cobblestone because you'll see why in a bit and I brought my time tools over and used them a little bit not gonna do too much of those for now before I go in I'm just gonna take off this armor though because the nether is well it was originally to be called hell world that was Notch's original intent for it but then figured that's maybe a little bit too risque, I suppose. So he decided to go with the nether instead. And it's kind of a dangerous place. So to build a portal to the nether, you need either 8 or 10 cobble or 10 obsidian. I almost said cobblestone there. Uh, you might be able to use less. There's sort of economy versions of it, but this is the way that I like to do it. I like to just do the full version because I'm lazy. Uh, I know there are... I know there are ways you can make molds out of lava and then cool them with water into obsidian to make the portals. I know that, but... That's not really what I want to do. I want to do it the traditional way. So, basically what I'm going to do here is first find some iron. That's pretty great. And I'm going to set up the the portal right here. And I have some, I have some smooth stone kicking around just because I want this place to look kind of nice. So I'll put that there. Get rid of our iron. Alright, so we need a... Basically we want to make a ring out of obsidian. So get rid of this stuff here and change it to obsidian. So, start us off. I'm going to make the bottom layer. So, just pop some obsidian down here. I believe this is the right... Um, I believe I'm doing the right thing here. If I'm not, then... Well, it's going to be a scrapped recording. I haven't made a portal to the nether in a long time, since the Halloween update, actually. Alright. So now we just got to make a... Go up and around, I believe. Oop, don't have enough obsidian. I might be making this too big, which would be a shame, but that's okay. So as you can see, we have a nice little doorway, sort of. It's basically, our doorway to the nether. And once you have this doorway, you take your your uh, flint and iron and light it up. And there you go. Hear that sound? Those are the lovely sounds of the nether. So we don't have very much on us right now. Just enough to sort of start us off. I brought the compass and uh, watch along just to show what happens to those. So let's uh, let's dive in. Basically, we're spawning a parallel world, and it's going to sound a little freaky. So just brace yourselves, because there are some strange sounds and noises here in the Nether. If it'll ever load, that is. Here we are. Oh, not making too much noise yet. As you can see, there's a reason Notch decided to call this place Hell World. Now, there are a couple of things that can spawn here in the nether. Uh, first of all, as you can see down there, there are little dudes walking around. Those are, uh, those are zombie pigmen. And if you kill them, they drop pork, but they will, they will murder you pretty quickly if you try and attack them. There are also these things called ghasts, which thankfully I don't see any of right now, because they are very dangerous and basically can destroy this entire, destroy everything we're standing on. Because what we're standing on right now is not quite solid ground. It's this stuff called, uh, get some. Break it real quick. Oh, I guess I need a pick to get it. There we go. It's called netherrack. And basically what you can do with netherrack is light it on fire and it'll burn in, in, uh, indefinitely. So, it's pretty useful. It's cool stuff. And then, 
lo and behold, we actually have a pretty convenient spot for this right here. I'm amazed. Oop, I hear a ghast. Uh, but this right here is something called lightstone. And lightstone is very... Oh, and slow, and this stuff too. Well, lightstone is a sort of prize of the nether. Uh, what people would come here for normally. It is a glowing block that can even glow underwater. Um, it's very rare and tough to make though, because it only it doesn't you don't get the block when you break it. You get these little pieces of lightstone dust, which aren't quite as good, but they uh, they'll suffice for now. And later we'll put together some of this stuff and uh, and make make some glowstone of our own. I think we have enough, anyways. Get these mushrooms. And then as you can see, I'm moving kind of slow here. Kind of like I'm crouched. It's because I'm on a different block called... Soul Sand. Now, Soul Sand, um... As, as I said, slows you down. I'm getting plenty of mushrooms here. As you can see, you can find plenty of mushrooms in the nether. And uh, I don't really know any of the good, good uses for it yet, but it's a pretty cool-looking block. I like it. So we'll definitely harvest some of this at some point. I got a pretty nice spawn for the nether, I'd say. Oh, there's a ghast right there. They're basically big floating death machines. So, we got to be very careful. What I'm going to do to start us off is... Oop. Oop. They shoot giant exploding fireballs at us. So, quickly make a... Make a wall, if I can dodge these things. There we go. Just a quick wall, because it can destroy things like nether, or netherrack, but it can't destroy cobblestone. That's why I have so much cobblestone. So I'm going to just change the uh, the netherrack around the around our portal into um, into cobblestone. Just just because, uh, well, when we leave, when we get out of the portal and are trying to build a base here, we don't want to be exploded. I'm sorry about the sound from the portal right now. It's probably pretty annoying. We'll get out of it in a second, because we got to go restock. But this is actually a fairly, fairly decent spawn. I've, I've been every time I've gone to the Nether, it's been, uh, I've had some pretty unlucky spawns, if you will, and it makes it very difficult to build. But this is, this should be pretty good. So let's go get some, get some more cobblestone. And we're back. So, just put our spoils away. Probably gonna need to build another chest soon. Also, um, I guess I can show off glowstone, how to make glowstone now, or lightstone. Basically, you just have to make a 9x9 nine nine block of it, like so, and you get glowstone. I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna make glowstone right now to save space in the chest, but it works just like the, the stone you saw in the nether. So, it's, it's very, very handy, but it's very difficult to get. I don't know if you noticed, but the compass and the watch while we were in there were probably spinning like crazy. I forgot to forgot to mention that in my excitement. Uh, all right. So that iron pickaxe is just about done. So I'm gonna make another iron pickaxe real quick. Maybe maybe two or three. Yeah, we'll just make one. That should be enough for the moment. They actually with the um with the 1.2 update made pickaxes last a little bit longer. So, those stone pickaxes that were lasting like six seconds before, well, now they'll last a little bit longer, which is very, very nice, I must say. Let's take two blocks of cobble to start. What I'd like to do, right, my plan, my tentative plan for the moment is we're going to build a, build a pseudo base in the nether right now, just like a house. I'm going to bring a bow to to take care of some ghasts if we can. Uh, build a house in the nether, and then after we got a safe base set up, safe haven, we're going to go to the go to vault uh, 158 and build another portal there, and then we're going to try and connect them if it's possible. It might not be possible, but I'm hoping it will be, because that would be nice. Let's dive back in real quick. Alright, ooh. So we're going to be careful here. First order of business is to make us a, make us a stable platform for when we come out. As you can see, nether, nether rack is very, very easy to break with a pickaxe. So, I'm pretty sure that's why it's destroyed when a gas blows it up. I think, I think what they're doing is not making a 
blast that will automatically destroy netherrack, but rather a, um, a sort of damaging explosion, sort of like TNT, and it's just netherrack is not strong enough to withstand it, whereas cobblestone is. So, I think that's what's going on at least. So let's, one, two. Careful. Now the tough thing about gas is that they can actually destroy your portals, so you need to be very careful when dealing with them. Because if you're not, oh, didn't mean to do that. Because if you're not, they're going to destroy your portal. So that's why you always got to bring some flint and tinder with you when you go to the Nether. Oh, careful. Actually, I think I'm gonna. Let's see. How am I gonna do this? Probably like this, actually. I think that's a better better design. That way we'll, that way we can get around the portal rather than having to deal with that like that. Where is this ghast? Now before I don't know if this has been changed, because it doesn't sound so bad right now. Ooh, oh, careful. But ghast used to make a lot of terrible, terrible noises. And Maybe that was fixed with the latest update, I'm not sure, but it seemed like there was no, um, every gas that would spawn, you could hear it from anywhere in the, in the area. Oh, and there's a zombie pigman, as you can see, he has a gold sword, but he's friendly right now. Not gonna hurt us. So you'd hear all this, this gas screaming all the time, and it was very, very, very scary. It was not pleasant to come into the nether because of that. Sounds like they fixed it, because I'm not hearing millions and millions of screams of the ghasts right now. Which is pretty nice. I think we're having a pretty easy time. I'm, I'm quite surprised this has not been nearly as... This has not been nearly as bad as my past experiences with the Nether. Alright, let's just build up here a little bit. Okay, so that's a... it's kind of a start here. Ooh. There's a gas. Let's, let's take him... take him... Ooh. take him out. If we can. There he is. Thank goodness for that cobble wall we got. Alright, get out of here, buddy. Now, they drop, um... they drop, uh, sulfur or gunpowder just like creepers do. So they're not really not really worth killing, in my opinion. They're just kind of a really scary, loud hindrance. And nothing more. So, yeah, I don't know. I would take on one of the zombie pigmen, but I'm, I really don't want to die right now. kind of want to finish setting things up. And you got to be very, very careful around here, because if you're dig just digging around and somehow fall down to like the base level down there, you're going to burn pretty fast. I'm actually kind of bummed we spawned up so high. Um, hopefully the the other portal is going to be just as high up because it's going to be tough to make our little our little cobble tunnel all the way down to something that's um, kind of far away. All right, well we're we're almost we're almost done here. Anyways, this is this has gone much better than expected. I must say. Destroy that. Here, you know, we should probably put some torches up, anyways. Toss these here. And throw a roof over our heads. It's not going to be... the stuff I build here in the nether is not going to be pretty by any means. It's going to be... it's going to be functional. We're going to have to do fashion over function for once in our Minecraft lives. Or function over fashion, rather. Jeez. Mixing up what I'm trying to say. Okay. Well, this is actually... This, this turned out pretty nicely, I'd say. And we have a nice supply of nether rack too, so... Someday, when I want to make a fireplace, I'll be able to. Let's take a look out there. Ooh. Well, look at that ghast. As you saw, what I did right there is you can actually deflect their uh, 
their shots if you just sort of left click or right click or whatever with your with whatever item you have. You can sh send the bullets back at him. See if he'll shoot another one at me. It's a dangerous time in game though to try and do that though I must say. So I wouldn't recommend trying to deal with the gas like that. Anyways, I think we'll head back and get some more cobblestone. I don't know. Thinking, oh wait a minute, what's this? Oh no, it's just a, it's just a zombie pigman. Let's see if we can get this one. Nope, flew right past my face. You want to shoot another one at me? Hey, friend. There we go. I got the timing down. Oh, not quite. Haha. <laughs> see if we can hit him. Nope. Ooh, right past my face. Ooh, ouch. Right in my face. Alright, enough. I don't want to die. <laughs> Let's go back to the... back to the real world. Alright. Let's, uh, store some of this. I also br I brought a lot more cobblestone back over from the other base, just... so that, uh... just for later, I, I suppose. Because I think once we, once we figure out where the other portal is, we're gonna want to, uh... We're going to want to build from here rather than the other portal, because chances are we're going to die a lot while doing this, so. And I think, I think I'm just going to call it there for now. Um, next time we'll build our other portal and start building building the tunnel between them. Hopefully they'll be pretty close, because the nether's supposed to be a fast travel system, essentially. But until then, uh, have a pleasant day and try not to run into too many ghasts, because they'll kill you dead. <laughs>